No, I probably shouldn't smoke. All right, let's give it a shot. Before you came to life, I couldn't mark the time. Sleeping day to day and prowling through the night. I've been a hardcore Versus fan ever since I was actually a young person. They were easily, for my money, one of the best bands of the 90s with that terrific boy-girl vocal thing going on. I was very excited, as you might imagine, when I heard they were getting back together, and I was even more excited when I heard they were gonna let us into the studio while they record their new album. And so when you two met up, did you realize early on that there was something good going on, or did it take a little while? Um, yeah, I knew immediately that it would be good. She was she was real raw at the time, but goth. but there was something. Goth. Right. She was sort of goth and yeah. very. <laughs> Never left the house without angry black clothing. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought we sang together well. Where did you grow up? Uh, Michigan. Michigan. You grew up in Texas, right? Yeah. Beaumont. Yeah. Beaumont, Texas. Where is Beaumont, Texas? It's right near the Klan headquarters. <laughs> well, I don't well, know if it's the headquarters, Texas. but... Beaumont, Texas yeah. not is not generally thought of as a, like, a, a spawning ground for indie rock stars, but uh, I guess... Yeah. They don't like to get out of the car when we drive through Beaumont. Do you feel like you get funny looks when you walk through there? Or? I don't think so. I mean, I think... I just... Yeah, <laughs> you know... Do you really feel like you got funny looks there? Or? Well, they, they might have thought you were smuggling us, you know, like we had just <laughs> gotten off a boat. You know, border, like, I don't know. On the boat and swam to shore. And then, <laughs> now is not the time or the place to count each blade of grass for you, all right. Start the countdown, I'm going. San Francisco. Having babies, hiking, going to the beach, protests, <laughs> you know, all the things they do. Smoking weed. Medical marijuana, yeah. you know, Getting Mexican wasted. food. Yeah, I mean. And everybody started side projects at that point. Yes. You had Weissall Lane, is that right? Lane. And you had the Fontaine too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then one of your brothers had plus, plus minus. minus. So yeah, we all split up and did, um, separate things, but um, you know, I, I felt like we should get back, at least Fontaine and I playing together because I think Versus is really what we do. I mean, I was psyched when I heard you guys had reformed after like seven, eight years. What provoked the reunion? I did. I sort of tricked them just uh, into playing just to write songs, just for fun. Okay, we're going to write one night a week. That's, that was the agreement. Really? <laughs> we'll just do yeah. a real casual. Just for fun, more, you know, because well, touring did... and putting records out, it's, it's yeah. a lot of pressure. It's... Why did it take so much convincing to get you to be back in this? It's a lot of work being in a band. <laughs> But isn't Especially it Especially when you're working full time. Right. And when you feel like your time is up, it's kind of hard to go back. Right. I mean, I, I didn't no, mind I... like getting together and writing. I like that. Yeah. And we were having fun until Richard started wanting, to, oh, we're going to make a record, we're going to maybe go on no, tour. No, it's still fun. <laughs> so you're not having fun anymore? Well, no, no it's, it's fun, fun but it's hard, it's hard work. You know, what we do is sort of a certain thing, and I don't think it matters how young or old you are. <laughs> How do you feel about the new material? I think it's great. I think it's the best thing we've ever done. So Given that I've I've loved everything you've ever done, am I gonna like this too? You are gonna I hope so. <laughs> I'm your core audience. Yes. It's more well, ambitious. Well, I think you will. And also Fontaine sings no. more. <laughs> Just in time to see you falling down the well. Due to repetition when you cast. The 
anger is striking. And it's not just anger, like anger at the world. It's more like you're angry at somebody specific. That's all like personal stuff. I mean, that's just demons you have to exercise. And, you know, unfortunately, they're still there. But, uh, really? Sure. So you're still singing about the same stuff? Well, yeah, now, I mean, a lot of this album is really dark lyrically. I mean, it's uh, more than ever before, I think. Even though you're sort of happily married with two, <laughs> two children? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the interesting thing is that, you know, I feel more, much more nihilistic now, now that I have a family than I ever did before. So I'll let, you know, you know, yeah, I'll let the shiny, happy people be shiny and happy. Don't mind being lost 